Hi everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here doing a um, sort of part three of the uh, powder humidity uh, testing. This time around I uh, went ahead and uh, instead of testing with the electronic thrower like I did last time, went ahead and tested with the manual thrower. Um, these type of throwers you will see are fairly typical for short range bench rest. So I wanted to do a test there so I can provide some information to our short range bench rest crew. So what I ended up doing was I filled up the, the hopper here uh, full of N133 powder. Um, I had to actually cut this open because the kestrel drop would not fit in there. But then I threw the drop in there on top of the powder, put this cap on and uh, duct taped it back together and measured the amount of um, humidity inside the hopper and then had a kestrel drop on the outside of the hopper to measure the humidity in my garage um, outside of the hopper. Uh, and I did that for a three day period and here's the data on that. Um, the yellow line is the garage as you can see here if you can see closely that's the number 70, 60, 50. Um, the humidity inside the garage was anywhere from about 65% and it went up into the 70% range. Um, over about a day or two, it started dropping. There was, looks like, an, I think it was an evening or a morning where it dropped down into the mid 60% relative humidity. And then it kind of went up and kind of then leveled out around 65% or so. So as you can see, the relative humidity inside the garage is clearly uh, greater than the relative humidity here on the blue line uh, inside of this hopper here. So the blue line represents inside the hopper. And as you can see, it's very stable. Um, when you look at the numbers uh, instead of the lines, you see that it stays around 55%. And there's very, very slight variation there. So, uh, so basically you can keep your powder in this type of a container for a three day period with variable humidity going up to around 73%. Uh, dipping down to about six, uh, 55, 58 uh, percent and keep it in there for several days and really have no difference in terms of um, the actual humidity inside the hopper itself. Um, so I went ahead and sh shot some groups. I took um, ten, 10 rounds, loaded the um, uh, a 6 PPC cartridge in my Bat uh, Nouveau uh, rifle that you've all probably seen from previous videos. Uh, loaded 10 rounds from from this manual thrower with the powder that was in there for three days and uh, and then I emptied the powder thrower loaded 10 rounds with powder that had been stored in my standard powder keg the standard powder keg the factory one that comes with the powder um, and I shot two five shot groups I actually did load a couple fowlers though before I shot them and this was the results for the um, average of the two five shot groups uh, for the powder that remained in the thrower the velocity was 33 67.5 with a standard deviation of nine average group size was 0.499 um, for the average of the two five shot groups for the powder that remained in the factory keg the velocity was 33 69 standard deviation was 11.1 .1, and the average group size was 0.338 uh, very similar. I mean, I couldn't really, you can't really tell much of a difference on that data, although group size for the powder that was in the thrower was a little bit larger. Um, looking at the groups themselves, they all had very similar point of impacts uh, and very similar group uh, patterns. I think the one that really killed the uh, data for stored in thrower was this one that seemed to have dropped. And who knows, that could have been a wind effect or something like that. I'm not sure. I did have some flags out there, but I didn't have all my flags out there. Anyway, um, very similar POI, very similar pattern of group. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude that um, it uh, leaving your powder in this type of a uh, hopper situation over you know two three day period uh, is is pretty safe it's not going to affect the powder um, tip, typically you'll see people maybe leaving their powder out in these things for a couple like a two day match or possibly even a three day match and my data is suggesting that that's perfectly fine you're safe doing that you're, it's not going to change the humidity uh, of the actual powder itself all right everybody well thank you for watching please uh, subscribe like and share